very nice. Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good to hear you. I was in trouble. I was in trouble. We suppose that teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. I'm Hi, sorry. Teacher. I've been in trouble. A lot of trouble. It's a mess. But I get problem, teacher. Let me check everything. It's recording right. The microphone is good. You can hear me, but let me check this. Good we'll evening, teacher. That's it. Good evening, everyone. I'm sorry for the delay, but I, I was sweating. I was trying to fix the problem, um, but it's done. Okay. We're ready, I guess, <laughs> finally. So, everything's good. Besides this delay and this problem. How are you guys? Everything's okay, teacher. Perfect, I'm glad to hear that. Can you oh. play, teacher? Nice Hello? to hear you. Thank I you can much. compete. Nice to hear you. Thank you very much, eh, Maria Elena. So let's not continue wasting that time. So eh, you were supposed to interview some classmates, right? So are you ready? I'm ready, teacher. Cool. Oops. So who wants to begin? With the interview, five questions, right? Only five questions. Eh, lo que sea. Yes, but you have to choose a classmate. Choose someone you want to interview. Okay, let me try first. Okay. Who do you want to interview? Choose a classmate. Let me see. How about Edgardo? Okay. 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 About end of the right? Yes. Sorry, I okay. can't. Sorry, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay. Can you hear me right now? Yes, totally. Okay. Edgardo, let me ask you a question. Okay. What time do you usually get up? Uh, I used to get up at 6 a.m. every day. 6 a.m. Okay. That's early. And what's the first thing you do when you wake up? Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing I, 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 I do when, when I... Is, uh, thank, uh, thank for you do for living. Uh, please, please repeat the, the question. What do you do for living? What do you do um, at work, for example? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a cook. Okay. 
Yeah. What time do you get back to your house? Uh, around, <clears throat> sorry, uh, around 6 or 7 p.m. Okay. And what is the last thing you do when you uh, to finish your day? Uh, gen gen generally, uh, I uh, read a book uh, before I go to, to bed every okay. night. Very good and well done for reading a book. Thanks. That's it, teacher. Nice. Thank you very much. Now, Edgardo, do you have your? We can we, we 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 can share we can share some books if you are interested. Yes, I would like. Let me know in the comment or this book on WhatsApp. That's perfect. Great. So, Edgardo, do you want to interview someone? Uh, let, let me see, teacher. I choose my friend Nevi. Okay. Hi, Nevi. Hi, Edgardo. My first question for you uh, How was your weekend? My weekend is very good. Uh... I have time. Puede ser suficiente? Enough. 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 Um, let me let me let me think. Uh, do you have a pet? I'm not pet. Do you like pet? I like it. Uh, before uh, for for the heart. Mm, okay. Um, what's your favorite kind of music? My favorite. Music is K-pop. I don't know. No, um, vallenato. Okay. <laughs> Lo vamos a cambiar okay. porque si no me linchan. <laughs> That's better. That's better. The last question. Um, are you married? Yes. I suppose that. <laughs> that that's all. <laughs> okay. okay. No more. Okay, Nevi, choose someone in the class. <clears throat> and ask some questions. Paravi. <laughs> Do you have children? Hi, Nevi. <laughs> Hi, Nevi. Do you have children? Yes, I have one children. Beautiful. Thank you. Ya se lo conozco. How was uh, weekend? Okay. Who mm. was a uh, your weekend? Okay. Mm. Okay. No le comprendo bien, Nevi. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Mm. Mm. Perapi. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. He, he, he wants to participate, too. <laughs> <laughs> eh, my, 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 ¿Qué me dijo, Nevi? Weekend. Su fin de semana. Weekend. Your weekend. Mm. My weekend is very nice. Uh, how how as, how this 
to dinner last night. My dinner last um, night is spaghetti uh -huh. with cream and bread. It was okay. No more, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. More volunteers? Do you want to interview one of your classmates? Who? Teacher. Okay, Cecilio, who do you want to interview? Yes, yeah, Cecilio, right? No. Me dijo, me preguntó, ¿verdad? Oh. Do you have any question? You want to ask someone in the class? Uh, con el Ricardo. Ricardo Escobar. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Famous. Uh, how do you what? Do you your family? Uh, please repeat the, the question. I I can't hear. I can't. I I couldn't hear you. Do. Do family. This is the family. Probably, I can't. I can't understand. Probably, do you have? Or do you live with your family? Ah, uh, yes, yes. I I live with with my pa uh, with my father and with my older uh, brother. Your father and older brother. That's okay. Next question, please, Cecilio. Do you drive a car? Please repeat. Uh, do you drive car? Ah yes, I I I drive I drive a car. My brother my brother uh, borrow borrow me uh, his car. Cool. I drive a car, but but I I don't have a license. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm breaking the law. Ricardo, uh, drink sabore. Drink. Drink sabore. Your favorite drink. Ah, my favorite drink is lemonade and, and beer. Cool. And water, of course. And water, too. Okay. Intimidades, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Thank you. Someone else? Someone. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Carolina. Who do you want to interview? To you. Me? Okay, cool. Um, what do you like to cook? Mm, mostly home food. I mean, easy soups, salads, and meat, different kinds of meat. That's what the easy, easy food. No me pida algo extravagante, ahí solo el guardo es el chef. Que no enseñe. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. What else, Carolina? Uh, who do you like with? Live. Who do you live with? Uh, my mom and two nephews. I mean, my mother, my nephew, and my niece. They are two kids, nine years old and four years old. And two dogs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything um... else? If you had a donker, what would you name her? If I have a daughter. A daughter. A daughter. Uh, it, I like, actually, that's the name that I have for it, just in case. Leslie Osiris. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Sometime in the future. <laughs> Anything else? <clears throat> um, what is your favorite song? My favorite song. Oh, oh, I like Poison. Alice Cooper. Okay. That's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. That's a great song, teacher. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Anything else? No more. Okay, cool. Someone else? Thank you, Carolina. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hi, good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Uh, my, question, my question is, uh, um, no sé a quién le puedo preguntar. Choose one of your classmates over there. Okay, I'll say teacher. Oh. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> what What do you do? I'm a teacher. Okay. Uh, I... Do you enjoy enjoy to how? Enjoy. Yes, I do. Enjoy. Enjoy. I enjoy my job. Okay. Do you have an um, brothers or sister? I have a younger sister. Okay. Do you like a uh, house or um or a flat? In a house. Okay. How do you feel right now? Exhausted. Yes. No question. <laughs> good. Good question. Somebody else. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Thank you or no more, because we are practicing just no questions, right? If you remember, and we also practice um, object pronouns, do you remember? You don't have any problem with this? Let's do this very quick. Asking questions. When, where, who, why? Question words. When, we use when to ask the time, right? The answer will be a, a time. When do you eat breakfast? For example, when do you eat breakfast? When do you start college? When do you go to bed? Similar to what time? But we can use when, okay? And then we have where. We use where to ask for places. The answer will be a place. Where do you live? Where do you study English? Where did you go at the weekend? And then we have who. 
The answer will be a person. Who is your teacher? Who is the prime minister? Who is that? Or who do you live with? Mm -hmm. Who do you work for? Mm -hmm. The answer for this question, who will be a person? Or who... Who do you go out with can be and why the answer will be a reason why do you want to learn English what is the reason why have you not done your homework why are you talking on the phone why no why are you talking on your phone in class why the reason right we give reasons okay and that's it those were or the most common um w h words así se le llama no las w h words mm -hmm. Okay, now, let's see. There you have. Okay. Obviously, you have been practicing on the platform, right? In this case, it says, um complete the conversations then practice with a partner i guess we didn't complete this exercise right i don't remember it says or have we finished this exercise Galusimo? i don't remember no right probably with the other group it says number one try to complete the question Do you like science fiction movies? Perfect. Do you like science fiction movies? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. And don't I don't like like it very much. Um then very them. much. Yes, them is the correct one. It says, no, I don't. I don't like them very much. Number two. Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? Do, do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? No sé si fueron ustedes o en el otro grupo que enviaron preguntando por una similar o esta. La respuesta dice, porque apareció en la plataforma. I think Jake yes, does. Does. But I don't know about Lisa. Why don't you ask, ask her. her? Why don't you ask her? Mm -hmm. Number three. What kind of music? What, what kind of music? Do, do Nariko and Ethan like? That's it. What kind of music do Nariko and Ethan like? They love classical music. Nariko really likes Jo Joyoma. Does he play? Mm, does he play? More options? What? Ah, what does he play? Yes. What does he play? The cello. I have his new CD. Let's listen to it. It's it. Let's listen to it. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Right? You see? Easy. No problem, right? 
¿Cómo quedó la primera? Number one. Do sí. you like science fiction movies? No, I don't. I don't like them very much. That's number one. No problem. Cool. This is a little bit about intonation. Intonation. Let me see. Because if you remember, we're practicing two types of questions. Just no questions and WH questions. It says um, if you see the arrow or arrow, so let's stretch us, arrow up and down. Usually in yes no questions, we emphasize um, the last part. Do you like pop music? Do you like pop music? In WH questions, the emphasis goes down. Like, what kind of music do you like? Sounds a little bit different, right? But this is not um, a big deal. Um, I'm going to read the questions and try to, to pay attention to uh, the differences. Uh, a piece, very tiny. It says, do you like TV? What programs do you like? Do you like music videos? What videos do you like? Do you play a musical instrument? What musical instruments do you play? I don't know if you notice the difference. Who wants to read the questions? Así como las leí yo, una y una. Una yes no question, una wh question. Listen again. Do you like TV? What programs do you like? Do you like music videos? What videos do you like? Do you play a musical instrument? What musical instrument do you play? Who wants to practice reading? The intonation and pronunciation too. I want teacher. Go ahead. Do you like TV? What programs do you like? Do you like music videos? What videos do you like? Do you play a musical instrument? What musical instru instrument do you play? That's good. Thank you very much. Someone else? <clears throat> Who? Cecilio? Yes. yes. Okay. Do you like TV? What program do you like? Do you like music videos? What videos do you like? Uh, do you play a music instrument? What music instrument do you like? Play? Excellent. You're doing good, eh, Cecilio. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Carolina, and then Oswaldo and Camila. <clears throat> Do you like TV? What programs do you like? Do you like music videos? What videos do you like? Do you play a musical instrument? What musical instrument do you like? Do you play? What musical instrument do you play? No, but that... <laughs> do you play? But the intonation is really good. Nice. Thank you very much. Oswaldo. <clears throat> Do you like TV? What programs do you like? Do you like music videos? What videos do you like? Do, do you play a musical instrument? What musical instrument do you like? Do you play? <laughs> good, nice. Really good. 
Camila? Do you like TV? What programs do you like? Do you like music videos? What videos do you like? Do you play a musical instrument? What musical instrument do you play? Perfect. Thank you. Mayra. <clears throat> do you like TV? What programs do you like? Do you like music videos? What videos do you like? Do you play a musical instrument? What musical instrument do you play? Perfect. Yes. Alvaro. Like TV? What programs do you like? Do you like music videos? What videos do you like? Do you play a musical instrument? What uh, musical instrument do you play? Perfect. Thank you very much. Lesbia. What musical? What musical instrument do you play? What? What in what? What musical instrument do you play? Do you like TV? What program do you like? Do you like music video? What video do you do you like? Do you like? Do you play a musical instrument? What musical instrument? Do you play? Very good. Thank you. Sarai. Hola. Yes, Carla, Sarai. Debe desconectar uno. Debe desconectar uno. Porque están los dos dispositivos, ¿verdad? No, veces. Pero ahorita. Uh -huh. eh, do, you, do you like TV? Do you like music videos? Do you play a musical instrumental? What programs do you like? Uh, what videos do you like? What musical instrument instrument instruments do you play? Do you play? Good, nice. Thank you, Lazaro. Hi, teacher. Uh, do you like TV? What program do you like? Do you like music video? What videos do you like? Do you play a music instrument? What music instrument do you play? That's it. Okay. No problems, right? It's uh, in this case you have to just practice right the, the the intonation. Intonation, remember, is different. Intonation and pronunciation that's different. Okay. Let's see. Mm, in this case, I guess I'm going to omit this part because it doesn't make sense that I'm going to ask you too much. The point is that you, you have to, you have to uh, formulate the questions. But, let's see. but I don't know if you have any problem I'm going to ask you this in Spanish. No sé si tienen algún problema formulando preguntas. La estructura de las preguntas. Parece que es una cuesta un poco. 
bastante. Formular preguntas. Formular preguntas. Ajá. ¿Y cuál sería como el... el ejemplo, sí, el... Do you... Do you... Uh, music... Instrumenta? Que, que le gusta la música instrumental, ¿verdad? Estoy formulando bien. Repeat, please. Do you, do you, do you music instrumenta? Do you like? Le faltó el verbo. Do I, you like, like? Do you like? Ahí, ahí le tengo yo problema. Do you like eh, music instrumenta? Pues no, no llego al todo. Do you like music instrumenta? Ok, vamos entonces a, a mencionar algunos puntos. Sería, do you like instrumental music? Music. Sí. Eh, do you like instrumental music? Ajá, uh -huh. instrumental music. Do you like pop music? Do you like eh, salsa music? Do you like horror movies? Primero, el orden de, la, de, 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 se supone nos han dicho o se dice primero el adjetivo, ¿no? Cuando es adjetivo y luego el nombre. Tenemos que pensar un poquito al revés, ¿no? Y por eso dicen que en inglés es al revés. No, en español decimos... Sí, pero... Casa bonita, pero en inglés ya decimos bonita casa. Eh, se le da vuelta primero el adjetivo y luego el nombre. En este caso, eh, lo que, el, la música sería el nombre y luego el tipo, ¿verdad? Está calificando el nombre. Eh, pop music, música pop. Rock music, música rock. Por eso debe ir un cambio ahí. Vamos a ver esta. Eh, do you like... Do you like... No. Do you like... Do you like... Uh, coffee with milk. Ok, that's correct. Do you like coffee with milk? That's correct. Okay. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh, do you do you dry do you do you like dry car? Do you like to drive a car? Do you like to drive a car? Hay que poner to el el to to drive car to drive car. Sí. Vamos Porque a ver. Le pongo a como un. Mm, hay ciertas estructuras. Ahorita muestro acá. Eh, si uno siento ahí un poco. Eh, me cuesta. Por ejemplo, el gato no le preguntaba bien por eso. Le dije que le repitiera. Algunas veces la estructura, so, las yes no questions, por ejemplo, yes no questions. Que las yes no questions decimos siempre inician con el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Y luego el sujeto. Do you. Um, do you drive? Do you drive? Y recordamos que en las terceras personas, he, she, he, es el auxiliar das. Yo voy a colocar aquí para que vean el orden. Teacher. Yes. Ese tipo de, de, cuando se utiliza ese tipo de auxiliares solamente son para preguntas cerradas, sí o no, ¿verdad? Ahora, si utilizamos la W, preguntas con la W son para preguntas como más específicas. Mm, 
sí y, y no, digamos. Esto es por eso, por eso el nombre de las se les llama yes no questions porque la respuesta es un sí o un no. ¿Verdad? No sí. Do you drive? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. uh, do you like movies? Yes, I do. Do you cook? No, I don't. Uh, does he? Acá sería eh, tercera persona, ¿verdad? Lo que la idea es acá que vean también el, el orden de las palabras. Does he drive? De nuevo. Does he drive? El patrón es el, es el mismo. Auxiliar, sujeto, verbo. Eh, does she, does she cook? Eh, luego, el do, do they, do they work? La, el patrón, estructura, es el mismo, auxiliar. Sujeto, verbo. Y después del verbo puede haber más complemento. Eh, luego la si usted dice las WH question. Ese es el nombre. WH question. O se le llama también information question. Porque la respuesta es información. Where. Ahora acá el patrón es. WH word, que puede ser el what, when, where, why, who, how. Where, y luego el auxiliar, where, sujeto, where do you live. Ok. Um, where, si es tercera persona, where does he live. Ok. Entonces, la respuesta es información. Where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Where does he live? He lives in Santa Ana. Ok. Um, ahora lo, lo mismo. Lo que quiero que vean es el orden de las palabras. ¿Dónde va cada palabra? En las WH iniciamos justamente con eso, con la palabra que lleva la WH. Where, where, or when. When. Y luego, auxiliares. When do, when do they, verbo. When do they work. Ok. Eh, Teacher, y si quisiéramos poner eh, donde ella cocina, ¿cómo sería? Entonces, where, ¿dónde? Where ahí, she cook. Ahí mismo, where, como es she, sería where does, does, digamos he, where does he, y el verbo. Pero como me dijo she, she sería where does she, she, where does she cook. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, Ahora hay una usualmente eh, la que estaba preguntando. Por ejemplo, esta. What kind of music? Ahí iría toda una frase. What kind of music? Y luego la auxiliar. Do you Like. ¿Qué tipo de música te gusta? What kind of music do you like? Toda la, una frase, what kind of music, va con la palabra in, de interrogación, interrogativa, el what. What kind of music. Y teniendo ese patrón, se puede preguntar algo más, como, what kind of music do you like? What kind of sports? Do you like? What kind of movies do you like? What kind of cars do you like? What kind of cartoons do you like? What kind of fruits do you like? 
What kinds of vegetables do you like? You see? The same pattern, the same structure. Okay. Teacher, what kind is que tipo, verdad? Yes. Que tipo de? What kind of? Mm -hmm. What kind of? What, 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 yes. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know. Any other question? A comment. No question, teacher. No question. Is it clear? Asistencia. My goodness. Okay, cool. Let me see the attendance. <clears throat> I was totally lost. Yes. El último día de enviarla, hemos recibido la información de la plataforma. Y de hecho, con la plataforma, ¿cómo van? Ok, hay unos números rojos, muy bajos. Hay que finish plataforma. Excelente. Yo haciendo la sección 4 estoy.
Álvaro Mauricio. Present teacher. Ana Carolina. Present teacher. Ana Xiomara. I'm here, teacher. Brenda Rachel. Camila Alessandra. Present. Cecilio Alberto. Edgar Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Elsie del Carmen. Present, teacher. Gabriela Abigail. I'm here, teacher. Jonathan Adonai. Present, teacher. José Benjamín. José Elido. I'm here, teacher. José Oswaldo. Present, teacher. Karen Xiomara. <clears throat> Present. Karina Yamilet. Carla Elizabeth. Present teacher. Carla Saraí. Present teacher. Lázaro Alberto. Present teacher. Lesbia. Present teacher. Mayra Esperanza. Present teacher. María Elena. Present María José. Present. Nevi. Present teacher. Nuri. Here. Rebeca Vanessa. Reina Carolina. Susana del Carmen. Present teacher. Victoria de Los Ángeles. Y Wendy Graciela. Yes, don't worry. Okay, yes. Nice, guys. It's late. Thank you very much. So, thank you for your participation, as always. And have a good night. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. bye. Have a nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow.